if Sophie wakes up in the morning, this is what it is. Urgh! You go what to the bathroom. This goes Urgh! in yeah. the morning. All I hear is that fucking coffee machine. Urgh! Do you remember there was this little French boy in the pool? Yeah. And he came up to me and he was like, with his thing. Sorry? What is this? Dorm is written, funny little man. <laughs> Tell us how your body works, pop bottom. Pop mm -hmm. it, lock it, poke it, dot it, put your hands up. What is that? Pop, pop it, it, lock like it, it, poke it, dot it, it, it wave your hands up and pop it. Do you think I'm sexy? Yes, why? No, he's asking. But why are you asking me this? I, I actually just podcast? want to know. You're so sexy. What? I didn't say anything. I just but for, want... So that was it. You wanted to know? Well, last episode you spoke a lot about David Beckham being sexy. I just want to know if you think I'm sexy. 100%. Really? I find this uncomfortable. I don't like it. Why? I don't like the word sexy. I hate the word horny. Uh, I never say I'm horny. You say that word. Like, just don't say that. <laughs> Honestly, me and my sister yeah. were genuinely having a conversation. And, like, I don't know what came up, but she was like, yeah, but no one fucking actually says in real life, I feel horny. I was like, but Jamie does. <laughs> she was like, no, he doesn't. And then as that's gone on, from the minute we've said it, You've said it so many times. I, I not never right. say I'm horny. It's not right. Just, it's not a word that you say. It's what 12 <laughs> year old kids say. Like, just, I don't say I'm horny. Like, that word shouldn't be in anyone's vocabulary. What do you want me to say instead? You don't, just say I want to have sex. 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 You don't have to say, I feel horny. No, because that's way like, too uh, aggressive. No, but I feel horny is so slimy. It like, it something <laughs> happens in my my throat where it's like, I almost gag. I can't deal with that word. It's so vile. You, I know you'll go home and say it again. It's not acceptable. I don't, I don't you just, say it so regularly. I don't go home and I don't just go home and say it. Just do it. We're so tired. It's Friday evening. I, do, I tell you why I'm tired. Because my little wonderful wife has so much energy in her soul at the moment that she wakes up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I, this is not true. I wake up at 6. I have a PT, a new PT, guys. Yeah, that's right. She's going to get shredded. Okay. Well. And we, it's at 7.15. So I don't know why I wake up at 6, but 6 has been in my life. <laughs> you woke up at 5.30 this morning. No, I didn't. You woke up? Uh, oh, I had a nightmare. That's exactly what... I had a nightmare. What... Then I went to the loo and then I came back down. And she... I came back down. I went back to bed for half an hour. You wake up in the morning... And you wake up at five this morning, I've had a nightmare. It was a ghost. It was scary. What happened? I don't know, but Toby Wilkinson was in it for sure. <laughs> My friend, Toby. Yeah, Toby was in it and it was in like a scare. And someone else was in it out of our friends. But I remember seeing his face. I yeah. think someone, like I won't say on camera. It was scary. We were in, It was quite Halloween vibes. Okay, so Sophie does this thing where it's 5.30 in the morning. I'm knackered. I work hard, sister. I work hard, brother. You work hard, brother. Anyway. You work hard gaming a lot, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Okay, anyway. What did you come home to yesterday? Me working on my laptop, slaving away. What did you do? You were, Get in the you were at home with your new assistant, with your new assistant, Millie, who's lovely, and you were sitting there while she was working. I had my laptop out and I was working too. Your laptop's totally broken. My laptop is broken, but that's because I'm I'm not fussy. I get down <laughs> and gritty with like a broken 200 pound laptop. That's how I get. Very true. But anyway, we all work hard this morning. I'm knackered. It's five in the morning. I've had a nightmare. And you're it's like... It's 5.30. Everyone heard you. Caught you. Busted. <laughs> and you do... And honestly, if I... This is the difference between, I think, you and I. What? I wake up in the morning really early. Set 5.36. Let's say when? Wait, if, I've never seen that. You've never seen yeah, I that. I get up earlier than you every single morning. Do you know morning. why you've never seen that? Why? Because you're fast asleep because I make no sound. Yeah, I saw I'm it like the other a day. mouse. I saw it the other day. You kiss me all over when you I leave. I kissed you once. I'm like, I'm asleep. And you're literally like smearing your morning breath all over me. It's it was honestly like a vegetable patch when I went to kiss you. <laughs> no, you're deleting that. I'm not having that in there. Okay, anyway. I <laughs> kissed you. It was. It was like honestly like a bunch of cauliflower. Like back No, here. guys. I, no, you're deleting that. I'm not having Fucking people think of this a veggie breath. Fucking, you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Yours fucking smells of milk. 
Milk. Milk. Milk. <laughs> There's a difference between you and I. And I'm wanna... selfish and I'm not. Bullshit. I actually want the listeners to suggest if I'm right. And I think it's a boy thing versus a girl thing. I'm going to put it out there. Sexist. It's not sexist. I'm just, maybe I'm generalizing. Maybe I'm wrong here. But I've definitely seen it in our relationship. And I want to see if other men and other women experience okay, this. Maybe well, the other way maybe around. Maybe you just speak. I wake up early sometimes, really early. And what I do, I creep out of bed. And maybe I give you a kiss. Oh, I hope you have a great day. Your cauliflower breath, smack in the face. I don't mind. I don't mind one bit, okay? I then go no, downstairs. No, you've got to stop this because I don't okay. want cauliflower in here. Fine. I then go downstairs. I creep downstairs. No lights. I don't lights. even fucking eat cauliflower. Like, okay. what's wrong with you? Also, like, <laughs> coming from halitosis over there. <laughs> shut up. Okay, no. No lights are turned on. I go downstairs. That's where I make the noise. Your problem. If Sophie wakes up in the morning, this is what it is. <laughs> you wake up. You go what to the bathroom. This goes... Uh, in yeah. the morning yeah okay you do this you go to the bar lights turn on windows everything opens up you make so don't open one window you make so much noise so much noise you then go downstairs you leave our door to the bedroom and all I hear is that fucking coffee machine being <laughs> made in the morning and it's just the difference I go out like a mouse you go out like a rhino yeah and what well say you're sorry and I will be okay I'm really sorry but maybe you should be getting up earlier. Seize the day. Do you think I'm sexy and we can begin the podcast? I think you're sexy. Let's begin the podcast. I'm horny. Lovely. Okay, let's begin it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Newly Words. I'm Sophie Habu. And I'm Jamie Lang. And we are getting married. <laughs> I don't know. I'm freaking tired. And we are recording on a Friday, late, late afternoon. And we are getting married. I also I feel a bit nauseous today. I said I can smell that milk everywhere. But you're on your... Can we but say I'm that? The, that means I'm not pregnant. So I don't know what period makes you feel nauseous. I'm and... fascinated by this, by the way. What? Because we were driving in the car, your little Fiat. By the way, we have not... And today we're going to do it, which I'm really excited about, reading out do, do, car do. names and different baby names, which is so exciting. We're going to do that in the episode today. But we were in the car driving, and I don't get... Maybe this is... We did the period simulator the other day on me, but I didn't realise you're just driving and suddenly went, I'm on my period. Like that. You suddenly just realised you were on it well yes is that not shocking for like what you think that we don't know when it happens well why would you know because you feel something leave your body (laughs) oh god what do you think happens it's just something that goes on internally (laughs) because things happen externally too yeah but I thought it wouldn't happen like it's not an immediate thing well yeah my boobs were a bit sore I knew I was coming on was it really that bad Okay, I don't think we need to no, dive I'm just into like my period. No, but I'm just interested because I didn't realise as, as a man, I didn't realise it was that. And listen, if we have kids and I have a little daughter, I'm going to have to be fully prepared and ready for all this kind well, of stuff. When that time comes in about 14 years, I will tell you. <laughs> okay. For now, let's talk about <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, by the way, um, we went to the Pride of Britain Awards, which we spoke about last episode. Mm. But what we didn't do on the last episode, which was quite fun and what we like to do, is read out some of the Daily Mail comments that were mm, underneath can't it. Can't wait. So I thought what we would do is I should read you some Daily Mail comments that were um, underneath our picture of us at the Pride of Britain Awards and see what you think. Sparkly Girl Ooh, uh, yeah. at the top has said she always looks like she smelled a rancid fart. <laughs> Yeah, well, you try sounding as a Jamie, we like. I'm joking, little kid. You smell delightful. There are eight people who liked it. <laughs> well, I think I do look like I've smelled around so far. Maybe. This is, it's so good. And that fart is it's you. honestly also so good. <laughs> uh, sh- this is the other one, which is hilarious from Mick. He says, oh, Mick, you joke, are you? Shame she's knocking about with someone who's clearly on the other bus. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie messaged me. Jamie messaged me saying, what does it mean when someone says you're on the other bus? I was like, once reading that, I'm assuming he's calling you gay. Also, check out the body language. She's not into him. 16 people liked it. There's one reply underneath. She couldn't love anyone as much as she loves herself. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, that was too good the way you read that. <laughs> PJ 
Peter has written, was she a woman at birth? <laughs> I know. So serious. Peter, yes, I was. Cone woman, but I was. <laughs> <laughs> was the cone child <sighs> oh god honestly give me some more I've not done yet these are really giving me <laughs> okay my Jimbo set. says pass the bucket I think I'm going to throw up <laughs> oh my god no <laughs> so someone commented under my photo say simply this these two really annoy me full stop about you and I but I don't understand why they do this it's honestly gives them a little kick I think doesn't it at the arse I just don't understand why. I, I, cruel, Someone cruel, wrote cruel. about Scott. I'm not even kidding. Scott has written, says, Jamie looks terminal. <laughs> what does terminal mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not nice. You can look less terminal. You're full of blood and Storm, life. Storm has written, funny little man. <laughs> The funny little man one is so good. Give me more. I could just read these all day. I think our podcast should just be reading out Daily Mail. <laughs> Someone has written, if he wasn't rich, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> more, more, more. I can't. I can't. <laughs> he looks, Tom looks really, de- like, not okay. Jamie is dressed like he's going to a funeral and Sophie looked anything but stunning. I, I love that one. <laughs> anything but... Uh, look, someone wrote Sophie's beautiful. They look fabulous. Twenty-two dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> About you, Daily Mail listeners. Isn't it crazy? I find it so. Fr- I hope that doesn't upset you, though, honey. Does it? Because it's honestly one not one bit, right? Because he's a. Co- <gasps> but if you call me a bad day, maybe it would. If I'm honest, so it would. Maybe if he catches on a bad day, it would upset us. But not today, Satan. Speaking of periods and things like that, you're pretty broody at the moment. I'm just going to put it out there. When yeah, because we're on holiday, Peggy. My, uh, my, my goddaughter. Yeah. She's beautiful. I'm broody for a Peggy. You saw... I'm broody. All of our friends have babies now. So pretty much. When we were on holiday in Dubai, all Sophie kept doing was saying she could kept looking at me <gasps> and know. just being like, I just want a little Jamie who runs around and I can put on my hip and I can just kiss his skin and lick his face. That's what you want. You just want this little thing. Okay, I don't want, I'm not going to lick my child's face. I don't think I'm that sort of mother, but... Explain why, though. Because Jamie's, like, so small and childlike on holiday, particularly. Like, there's nothing phases him. Like, he doesn't want to get into conversation. He's just, like, a bull will fly and he'll be like, oh, he'll be like, watch me swim out of water. And he also, like, nobody's skin is like Jamie's. Like, you've seen Penny. Like, can we out how old your mum is on the podcast? Yeah, she's 70 next year. I've never in my life seen someone... 70 this year? I've never in my life seen someone 70 years old have skin like Penny Baines. Like, no one. Mm. And you took half hell with that skin. And it's it's like a child. Do skin. I do that when I get into the bush? So this is why at home first. This is why you want the baby is because so I want like a little Jamie because Jamie doesn't give me the attention because he's like so distractive. You know how kids are with like life. Am I that distracted? Holiday, you're like, oh, oh, oh my goodness! It's a fly flying around, and then you're running off, and then he's watching games, and he's like pa- always walking around in like his tiny little shorts. I just want like a boy a little boy who i can hold all the time that's like a little blonde boy and also do you remember there was this little french boy in the pool yeah and he came up to me and he was like with his Sorry? thing <laughs> well french <laughs> i don't know i can't speak it like and yeah. i was like hello and then we sat and spoke for a while and i just thought ah, oh, i could do with you in my life that is sweetness yeah I do do that on holiday. I do. I, I. I always. I go and swim a length underwater. Make you watch. I mean, it's not that cute when you do it, but I. I just want like what I want is that a child who can't do that because they won't be able to swim that long, and they could just sit and hug me. Well, and and you want this soon? You think? I don't really think. I know. Really. Well. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm sharing that with the public. All right, we don't have to share that. We don't. But have to... we'll keep you updated. We don't have to share that at all. Um, ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, go any further, it Sophie Habu. I finally turned 29. It was your 29th birthday on the 19th Ugh. of October. But by the time Lord we record witch. this, it's actually it's not your birthday yet. Oh, yeah. it's not your birthday yet. We have got to be honest. So it's just before your birthday. Mm. What kind of present do you think I've got you? You're really, really good with presents. We actually had this conversation today because I have Jamie's diary in my phone. Yeah. 
And um, he was like, what are you going to do on your birthday? I was like, well, you should organise something. <gasps> Wait, this is so, this has really oh upset me. This has really upset me. Oh. I, I'm going to delete all the stuff from my diary. I, I... You se- don't want private things you have in there. Well, I, I secretly organised a dinner for Sophie at a restaurant. And what did I say to you? She was, he was like, what are you going to do on your birthday? I was like, I don't know, but we're going to Scots because you've booked it and I can see it in your diary. It says Scots for Sophie's birthday. But funnily enough... And I don't know why you're breezing over this. No, because it's very funny because I... Scots and Richmond on the water, I booked it for you and I and I I put it in my freaking diary and you've read my diary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you won't, sister. You, sister boy, I had booked Scots in Richmond for your birthday a week later (laughs) because I thought, really nice, he'll like that. He really... So actually, it's because you like the restaurant so much because I booked it thinking Jane was obsessed with Scots and Richmond so I'll book it for his birthday it's on the water and then it's lovely hold, you book it for mine okay fine we won't go to Scots I would have gone to Scots in Mayfair we won't go to Scots then I want to go to Scots now we want to go to some like Thai Wee's place I want to go to yeah I would I want I want Thai work? food I want Thai food I Vietnam, ca- Vietnam Thai Vietnam food is my worst cuisine and that's why I want to go to it or what do you think I'm going to get you for your birthday well I I I really don't actually want anything. I know it's crazy. Like I really don't want anything. If I unless I want a house or a car. So like other than that, I you got a car or a watch. But I know they're all three big things that I'm not getting. So in what order would you want them? A house, obviously. A house first, then. I've got my little fears. So, so you I'd want to get a watch, and then I'd get a car. You don't want anything else. No, I don't. There's you don't no want point. anything else. There's no point other than love and happiness. You have all of that in abundance. Exactly. So then, there's no point in spending the money on the little things. Make me a coffee. You've never made me a coffee in your life. Okay, I'll make you a coffee. Do I sound like a sport workers? Maybe. I spoke to Jemima, producer Jemima, Jemima, the other day, and she couldn't understand this. Isn't this right, Jemima? Where she said to me, "What was the question you asked me?" Um, if someone says they don't want something for their birthday, yeah. or if your partner says, uh-huh. I don't want something for my birthday, do you get them a present? Yeah. And I said, no, you don't. Well, what I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I know, but that's just so silly. What, what I do you don't mean want it's you, so silly? What I don't want you to do is spend money that when we're saving for a house, right? I don't want you to do that on things that I don't want. Okay. And that I'm concerned that you're going to do. I'm not going to do it. I just, I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my hands that you're going to. And there's just no need. I'm not going to do gonna it. If we're not going to get those things which yeah. we won't then I'm happy with nothing this year okay alright fair enough I won't get you anything but your hand uh, in you, marriage you have my hand 100% already in and marriage and what do you want from me no, I don't want anything I know what you want from me he asked me for the ma- no you don't know how expensive <laughs> the stuff James so let's just reference this okay Jamie I think I've said it before I've got J- I've really spent my time getting him presents in the past when I first met him he was obsessed with photos I got him I actually introduced you to that bloody camera which you are so that I then get him a Smyson album it's still in our attic you've never opened it like he literally looked at it and threw it away and even worse, I printed out, you know, from Snappy Snappy, loads of photos snappy off my snaps. phone. Snappy, snappy, snappy Anyway, snappy. this is really important. And this okay. is, you're such a sport little brat. Like, Main and Chelsea made you mean. You've got nicer as the days have gone on. But this was like rife Main and Chelsea. I printed them off some Snappy Snaps, photos from his Instagram, and he looked at them and went, they're blurry. And I was like, you did? You did. No, yeah, you did. I did And I was not. so embarrassed. I was like, we were brand new dating. And I was like, you know how obsessed he is with quality of photos? Like he, like the image, like this, every fucking blackhead on my face has to be showing to you guys. He couldn't bear it. He literally was like, they're blurry and moved away. Lo and behold. Okay, sec- strike one. Second strike. <laughs> what strike? We're in Buenos Aires. Still, still early doors. Yeah. I get, he lost a ring. I get him a ring. I got it engraved saying, I can't remember what I put in it, but Damon, maybe something that we called each other back in the day. Yeah. He looked at it. He was like, thanks. And then you never wore it. And you said, I really need to buy a ring because this one's, I don't like this one. It's, it's, it's cheap. I was like, are you fucking joking? Yeah. That is you a did. lie. No, you did and you never wore it and you openly said it to me because you laughed. I was like, I've got you a ring and you <laughs> yeah. opened me up. God, I'm really good. This you're really is, getting it out. This is this pen of You're feeling better now that you're releasing yeah. it? Okay, release and more, And then honey. the third one, guys, that he did was I 
gave him all of those presents, like really went to town. And then he re-gifted them to me the Christmas <laughs> after. He went, do you want this or should I give it to charity? I went, what is it? He went, a cash from a jumper from, looked at the label. I went, I gave that to you for Christmas. He was like, oh, the label's still in it. And then you gave George, your brother, all the other Keith hoodies that you so wanted and wore and didn't like. So screw you. And have you ever looked at that golf watch thing that I yes. wanted? Yes. No, it's I still haven't. in the box. It's still in the box. You're a spoiled brat. That's okay. what you are. Okay, I'm sorry. You're... So, do you know what you're getting for this year for what? Christmas? You're going to get a high five. <laughs> <laughs> and for your birthday, another high five. Oh, I'm spoiled. <laughs> And that's all you're oh, getting. That's all you're me, getting. Until, that's all you're getting until you learn your lesson: how to not be spoiled oh, and give back. five a high five. Yeah, I can see your face. No, because I'm just remembering more things, guys. Go on, release right, more. Okay. Go, here we go. She's he in. He sits. Barry White, like, are you fucking okay? He sits and he honestly thinks I'm going to buy him this. He'll. When is this? When is this? All the time, regularly. Okay, good. I'm like, no. You scroll through and you go, do you know what? You're not, come on, Sophie, do you know what I want for Christmas here? If you're ever going to get me a present, I want a whole set of personalized golf clubs. I'm like, it's about 20 grand. <laughs> Find yourself a new girlfriend. He repeats it again and again. Like, you genuinely want me to spend 20 grand on it's you. It's not 20 grand. Then you show me a Patek, a Patek, the watch. <laughs> he, genuinely is like don't bother getting me a present and that's like maybe just save up for this i'm like who do you think you are and now he's asked for some stupid overpriced suitcase from ramoa i love it what is a grand for a suitcase hey listen ramoa if you're listening i freaking love it in and go okay. surprise and- and then what would I do? <laughs> I, I think it's too late on a Friday. And I'm on my period I'm feeling real sick. <sighs> Anything else you want to get off your chest? Come on, get something else off your chest. Anything else that you want to tell um, me? Anything that's an, I've annoyed? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, get in there. It, I was looking for like our cards. I've written lovely cards. You have never, ever bought me a card in your life. That's completely complete and lie. I once made you a banoffee pie because I know you love banoffee love pie. That. And it took so long and you literally didn't eat one mouthful of it. What? That, yeah, you're really rude. No, now it's are you kidding me? <laughs> you're rude. <laughs> you're rude. <laughs> you're rude. <laughs> and Jamie writes on the back of the receipt from the present he bought me, happy birthday, love you. I'm like, thanks. You emotional little tart. <laughs> <laughs> if you, you, you pretend you tart. You tart. I don't you know can't why call I said it. I don't know what came out of nowhere. Do you know where the, you tell me all the time that you're not emotional, that you don't like these things? I don't care about them at all. But the so fact then, is, you make me feel bad for not being romantic. I'm you're not, not roma- romantic. I don't have a romantic bone in my body. Exactly. Tell me one, I'll get it. I'm not doing a surprise. Don't like it. It's, <laughs> it's not in my bones. Just do it. Be romantic to me. I put your head on my my shoulder. Look up at me and cry a little bit and say I love you. <laughs> That's what I want. Sophie and I play lovely games sometimes with each other. No, we, we don't. Yeah, we do. We play, we play that game, 21 Questions, where yeah. we have to pick a celebrity and you have to play this game. We get quite competitive with it. Jamie always picks it. himself. No, I never pick myself. <laughs> we get quite competitive. You have to pick a fictional character or yeah, a celebrity. Yeah, know what the game is. Okay, and I pick someone like Matthew McConaughey or I pick Idris Elba or someone like that. Sophie said, she picked it in a moment, <laughs> you'll never get this. I went, okay, went through everything. Ended up, she was thinking of Bruce Almighty. <laughs> the, I was and annoyed. Guys, he didn't get it. <laughs> Who's the loser now? <laughs> Who would get Bruce, Bruce Almighty? Almighty? I said it was a sequel. It's, it's I not said a sequel. he has magical powers. It's not a sequel. Evan Almighty or Bruce Almighty? That's with Jim Carrey. The first one's with Steve Carell. That's no, the- wrong way around, bitch. Okay, bitch. I don't know what. Well, anyway, I gave you didn't pick it, so that's all right. It's my bone to pick with you. Any more? <clears throat> for any more? Yeah. What, what other bone? 
I don't have any other bones to pick You're with you. You're a bony old lad over there, aren't you? Have you? Have you? <laughs> now's the time, because we've had this, now's the time to tell me, have you ever done something in our relationship which you haven't yet told me, like shrinking clothes? Yeah, or... you know I've shrunk clothes Okay, have you done day. anything recently? No. That I don't know about? No. That you, that you can come clean now with? Um... Is there anything at all? Because I'm sure some of my clothes no. get missing. There's nothing at no, all. No, clothes. I really don't like your clothes anymore. <laughs> As in, I don't like to wear them. Why not? Because they just like, you get so cross with them. I prefer my own clothes. Really? It's not as easy. You become, there's a little bit of an element of OCD that's crept into your life. Well, I'm sorry that I'm OCD at the moment. That's okay. But I'm I just tr- like avoid putting on your stuff now. It's strictly my own clothes. How OCD am I at the moment? So last night we come in. Oh, God from having dinner at your sister's house and we walk up the stairs and Jamie was like stopped and says he was like you didn't want to tell me what it's actually really sweet and kind of sad you're like I just need to I just need to check something I was like check what we've literally just walked in the door I just need to check something he runs back to the door opens the door and closes it again I was like what just happened? He does it quite a few times. I don't know if we should... Yeah, my OCD, because I was scared we were going to have a good night if we hadn't done it, so I had to shut the door. No, 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 no I had guys, to check no one was in the door. No, Jemima, what he does is he goes like this. I walk down the stairs. This is if he gets up at the same time as me. He'll be like, give me a kiss. And I'll be like, no, I've got to go. My PT or whatever is right now. And he'll be like, no, 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 it's bad luck. It's bad luck. You can't go down the third step without giving me a kiss. I'm like... He's like, bad luck if you go down the full step. <laughs> oh, bad luck if you touch your foot with your false toe. You've got to give me a kiss first. It's honestly So work. we have to run downstairs and we then have to, I have to kiss her. And then like... She gets back in bed. Then, no, then we have to go down and we have to touch the bottom step at the same time. <laughs> no, and then sometimes he'll like make me sit on the sofa at the same time as him. And I'm like, okay, am I fine now? And he's like, yeah, I'd like tap your hand with this thing on the floor. I'm like, okay. And then we can get up and start our day. Gosh, I don't, maybe we should... We should probably do something. Should do a podcast about it. Well, you should maybe be seeing like a OCD specialist. <laughs> I don't know why we're laughing about it. It's getting. It sounds. It's reiterating how bad it is actually. Yeah, I'm superstitious. No, it's, it's more an superstition. OCD, OCD thing. Maybe OCD slash superstition. No, no, it's not superstitious. Like I'm superstitious. Oh. Yours is a hundred percent. Like a like you. I'll lock the door and he'll get upstairs. He'll be watching TV. He'll be like, I need to go down. He'll lock it, unlock it twice. All right, smelly breath. Well, should we continue? All this? right, smelly boy. <laughs> okay, smelly head. Should we just get on oh, to listeners' messages? It's so sweet. I love you. You're OCD and it's adorable. Well, I love you. I love you. Should we get into listeners' messages? Goodbye, ma. Lovers. Okay, you ready for this? Yes. You ready for listeners' messages? Let's get on with the listeners' messages. Someone's had a bit of schnoz. <laughs> Sorry, what the hell does that mean? Filler in the schnoz. I'm a filler in the nose. I can see it. More. I swear to God, I've never had filler in the nose. Look, why would I have had filler in my nose? Look at you staring at me. Raise those off for eyebrows. <gasps> Bebe Botox has been <laughs> operated I, on the Langster. No, that's not. I, I had, I we had made that, a deal. I had that profilo. We made a deal, guys, because I said, as a joke, oh. I'm going to get my buckle fat removed. And no, Jamie, you didn't say as a joke. You wanted I to... obviously am not going to get my cheek sucked out of my face. Okay, all right. But I said it as a joke. Jamie, no joke, literally jarred me in a lift for about 10 minutes. He was like, you're not going anywhere until me. You promise you never do anything to your face. Because I don't want you to touch your beautiful face. And then I said, okay, well, deal. I like a wrinkly man. I don't like the... The skin tight look. And I said, please, you look so handsome right now with no Botox. Please do not go home this whilst we were in Dubai and get some Botox. What do I see in our shared diary? Dr. Mariam Samani. And what did you go and do? Oh, baby she'd know. Botox. She'd know. It's not baby Botox. And that her. nose looks very tipped and no, light. I don't have any of that. I, all I have, which I've said to you before, is I have that thing called Profilo, which basically just hydrates your skin. So you're swearing right now that you had no Botox. Botox. Yes. Botox, as Penny Baines says. Botox. Botox. I just get Profilo. You've not had Botox. So I've if we call bo- Zamani... I had Botox once before, yes. You've had Botox once? When I was in LA years uh, okay, ago. Okay, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, but then apart from that... I'm... Look, okay. I got it ever. You can see all my crow's feet and everything. Yeah, you're gorgeous. There Actually, you go. maybe you haven't. Okay. Thank you very much. See, all it's right. back in the game. Okay, back in the game. Is, are you? Are you? Can we now go into listeners' messages? Because that was enough chit chat. Yes, let's go in. So this happened to a friend of a friend of mine. Let's call her Emma. 
So Emma went on a girl's holiday when she was 18. One night, after many shots of tequila, she got very close with a Spanish guy. Let's call him Jose. Jose seemed like a decent guy and as his flat was quite near their hotel, Emma decided to go back to his. Things got frisky and afterwards, Jose suggested she stay for a bit. She had started to sober up and realised that his flat was a bit of a shithole and felt really weirded out by him so quickly, made an excuse, left and found her friends. Fast forward two weeks and Emma was back in the UK and needed to pay a little visit to her GP. 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 Her GP. (laughs) Her GP. Let's just say she was a little itchy and sore down there. Oh my God, come on. They took some tests and sent her on her way with some creams. Fast forward another week while she was at home, there was a loud knock on the door. To her surprise, there were two police officers stood there. No. The officers started to ask her lots of questions about her recent sexual activity. What the fuck? What the hell? To which she had to fess up about her one night stand with Jose. They seemed very interested in Jose. This was because the GP test results had come back and had showed a bacteria that could only be found on dead people. Oh! He was a, what do you call it, a philanthropist. <laughs> oh my God! What? A philanthropist? I know what that is, a charity giver. <laughs> Wait, give me a narcissist. Ah, what's the word? What do you mean the word is? I don't know, but they... Try and get it. A genesis. I don't know. It's something cyst. You say it, punk. All right, punk. What is it? It's, he can't think. It, no, it's not necrophilia. Necrophilia. It's necrophilia. I knew that. I knew that. That's what it is. Wait, just say that again. Necrophilia. No, not that. Oh, fine. <laughs> they seem very interested in Jose. This was because the GP test results had come back and it showed a bacteria that could only be found in dead people. No, I feel really sick. Yep, that's right. After many interviews with the lovely police officers, it turned out that Emma's recent catch... Jose was a wanted man in Europe known for necrophilia. No, I actually have goosebumps. He's a sicko. That's vile. The creams... Wait, hang on. You can't just brush Wait, over this. Emma, you can't just finish there. This is Is it. that the end of it? The cream soon fixed Emma down below, but certainly left her with a very sore memory. Be careful out there, kids. I'm shocked. Same. But we must, we need to go back and ask for more. Like, if I was Emma, I'd be like, there's a TV show about this somewhere. Let's get Emma and Jose on this podcast. Jose's a wanted man. He's not going to come on newlyweds. What the fuck? And what would you ask him? Surely we should out Jose because other... Like, he's wanted. We should do the police a, a service. And what would we say? We'll get any woman who is about to sleep with some Spanish guy they think some cool Spanish hunk. <laughs> Don't go near him because he fucks dead people. <laughs> It's just, that's such a huge generalisation. I've got to say, like, just where would he find them? He goes to, like, the mo- the cemeteries. I, probably not the same. He doesn't, I don't think he's digging out bodies, no. You don't think he's a murderer, do you? No, I, but I think he, he probably goes to hospitals. <gasps> no, you don't be serious. I'm really upset. Why are you staring me, baby? Well, I'm, not, I, I'm not. I'm just thinking about it. It's really, really upset up, me. I feel really upset. It's really upset me, that. No, I, I, I'm i sorry. That's, it's not funny at all, guys. That's not funny. That's a really dark, horrible thought. You'd never know as well. What? You'd never know if you were dead. And was, or maybe you were. No, it's not funny. We shouldn't be laughing. Okay. All right. Here we go. That, that is a big one. That's a big story. I feel really uneasy. That's a really big story. Like, that's really hey, put an edge onto my uh, skin Listeners, today. Uh, if you just listen to that, trigger warning. <laughs> so, just going to put it out there. Okay, should we have my listener's message? Go for it. Let's do it. Anon. Anonymous. A poo story. Last month... <laughs> really kick it off with a bang. Here we go. Last month, I did anal for the first time. It was weird. Go on, go on. It was weird and, to be honest, totally different feeling. And for the majority of it, I felt like I needed a poo. <laughs> it was with a boy I was freshly dating. We did it in my living room. And in the morning, I came downstairs <laughs> to find my cream sofa covered in dried poo. 
No, you're not being serious. <laughs> the boy I was dating. Tried poo. <laughs> it's so quick, the story. The boy I was dating came in after me and saw the poo, mas- the poo massacre, and we just both froze, staring at it. It was like we had a mud fight and then rolled around in the mud. And <gasps> no, I'm the really office. sorry. There's so many things I'm upset about. <laughs> oh my god! Just why would they not be smelling that and then shower? They slept in the bed afterwards, cuddling up to each other with poo bacteria all over them. Anyway, we were both very mature about it and cleaned it all up, and or so we thought. Later that day, my parents came round for dinner. After a lovely meal, we went into the living room to chill. As we're all chatting, I noticed my dad distracted. He's <laughs> fiddling with the sofa. No, 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 no. As I examine more, I realise he's picking the poo off the sofa. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Today. I suddenly panic. Dad, what are you doing? I say calmly. You really need to be more careful about getting mud all over these cream sofas. They're very expensive and a gift from your grandmother. <gasps> the shame felt so hard to deal with knowing my father had my anal poo under his nails. Oh. No, I actually can't. I feel really unwell and uneasy. We, we really went in with the back. No, I can't. I feel so unwell. It was enough to make me gag right there and then. Yeah, so this too, is just honey. a public anonymous apology to my dad. I'm sorry about the sofas. <gasps> it wasn't mud. It was my poo. No, but surely if he sees that, that's game over for their relationship. How would they see that? Maybe he'll be listening on the off chance that he oh. listens and he'll think, hey... Reminds me of that time I picked mud off my girl's daughter's sofa. <gasps> two and two together. Picking poo, thinking it's mud. But her anal poo. <laughs> Where else would the poo be Well, from? she called it anal poo <laughs> because it wasn't like a normal toilet situation. It was like oh my through God. the act of anal. Okay. I'm a bit worried about these messages today, but I'm loving them. Do we have another listener's message? I think we do. The story of worth work-life betrayal. My work friend was going on a Tinder date, second date, and it sounded super fun, but she was pretty nervous and suggested that she go on a double date with myself and the boy brings a friend too. The date went well and I must admit the boy, let's call him Mark, that my friend was dating was pretty hunky. After a few hours, my friend decided to go home. And to be honest, there wasn't any great vibes between her and Mark. Anyway, after a bit of dances dancing, I started making out with Mark's friend, who was fairly flit, fit, but not iconic. I noticed after we made out that Mark was sort of awkwardly standing there next to us, and out of nowhere, I want, went to him and asked him if he wanted to join in. A three-way kiss. A minute later, we were kissing. All of us were kissing. And then we went back to mine, and I had my first threesome. Wait... How does that happen? Like, my lips aren't big enough. The next day, I went into work and my colleague wouldn't look at me. Shit, I thought. He's told her. At lunch, she asked if we could have a chat. She told me that the boy messaged her this morning saying he had a great night but wasn't looking for anything more. That was it. I was off the hook. She proceeded to cry on my shoulder. I felt awful. There I was, comforting my work friend about being broken up with, but merely a few hours ago, I was doing the Eiffel Tower with her ex-man and his best friend. Oh, <laughs> my Lord. But what? A three-way kiss? You've never had a three-way kiss before? You have, yeah. that's lame. Why is that lame? You've gone, oh, you kiss this side of my mouth and I'll kiss the next. It's like, what? No, you all kiss the same mouth. Um, well, how does that happen? I know, I was younger, we played spin the bottle. How Have you guys had a three-week kit? That's not feasibly possible. <laughs> it is feasibly possible. Did I, that's I, a lip, that's a lip. How are we all doing not? Like, I'd suffocate. My friend's having the worst dating experience, and she was telling me the story um, where she had two occasions. Both she had met um, this person online. The first person she met online, he said, can we meet at Tower Bridge? So she was like, all right, we, we, that's pretty weird. Let's meet at Tower Bridge. So she met at Tower Bridge. The guy was 38, okay? Fine, but yeah, but 38-year-old, you think is a bit more mature. She phoned him up when she couldn't find him at Tower Bridge. And she f- said, hey, where are you? I'm just looking for you. I'm at this end of the bridge. He went, oh. <laughs> After they've never met, said, oh, I'm at the other end. I'm going to have to walk to you. So they walked to They had like a really weird date. Anyway, they kissed at the end of the date. He... She got in a car to go home. He sent her a message two minutes after, a message saying, that kiss gave me a boner. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, listen, um, if you want to send us in some listeners' messages, please do. You can always send them into our Instagram at newlywedspodcast 
or you can send us an email, newlyweds at jampopproductions.co.uk. I really want to hear more stories. Like, even though they're pretty hectic, I quite like those shocking stories. I just can't get my head around the guy. We need to find out what Jose's kicking about doing now. Like, you can't be Why? shagging any more dead people. No, but he, he's obviously wanted for it. Yeah, but we should Google who a necro- wanted necrophilia is in Spain and I'll be able to tell which one Jose is. How would you be able to tell? Got a hunch like that. Okay, hunch back. Um, anyway. <laughs> All right, everybody, listen, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, the listeners' message. Please, please send them in. We absolutely love them, don't we, Soph? We sure do. Okay, honey. All right, well, that's the end of... Listeners' messages. Great. Well, so before we go into talking about your um, birthday and your present, because by the way, honey, I have a present for you today. Really? Are you literally, that is the, the worst reaction to me offering. I have a present, I'm honey. I'm so excited. What's the present? Well, it's a really, I've got you two presents this year. Sophie has sent me a message saying, this is what I want for my birthday. It's called a neck and shoulder massager with a heater. I can't wait to sit in my Fiat, like driving around. That's I'm going to sit on the podcast <laughs> and it's just going to be massaging these gorgeous shoulders on mine. This is what she wants more than anything. It's the weirdest... <laughs> I don't even have nice shoulders. Really. It's the weirdest yeah. contraption I've ever seen. If any, if I... You could, sent me that saying this I is what I want for If I could die my... today, I would just die with five hours in advance someone massaging my shoulders. I just constantly being massaged. I need the pressure. I need the touch. I need it all. Well, I haven't got you. I have No. T- That's all I want. You sent it to me yesterday. How am I going to get it delivered? You have two days to go, punk. Okay, punk. Oh my God, this is punk business. <laughs> I have you two presents. Bye. One I'm going to save for your birthday, which is on the 19th. This is just, we were recording this on the 16th. Um, and But I have a, mess, a, a present for you today. A message? I have a present for you today. You have a message? I don't have a message. He's the message. I don't have a message. I have a present. But before we go into the present, um, what we have done is that we, you love your little fear more than anything, don't more you? More than anything. Okay, so we asked everyone to send in names for the fiat that I think we should now read out and you're going to have to pick one and we get to call it that, Okay. Okay, I can't wait. That was a good yawn. You Sorry, just did. guys, it's really early in the morning. I don't, I don't think I've had a coffee today. Okay, so I'm going. We're going to read out some of the names mm. for the fit, and you have to pick one. Yes. You ready for this? I sure am. Okay, here we go. Felix. No. This is from Kira. Uh, Fabio. No. Why are they all boys? Francesca. Oh Fran- no. Francesco. Federico. Whoa! Slow down. No, no, no. Flavia. Oh, like our little friend. Flavia. Felicity. No. Felicity the Fiat. I like Felix. Florence. <laughs> Florence the Fiat. She don't like any of those. Okay. Um, for a Fiat name from Doris, Dora or Fanny. Dora the Fiat. I like it. Dora the Fanny the Fiat. One nos notches and Dora the Explorer. What about Fanny the Fiat? Well, no, it's a bit rude. Like, can you just make sure you back up my Fanny? <laughs> <laughs> Can you go and park my fanny? <laughs> what other ones are there? Can you go clean my fanny? <laughs> Can you go put the heating on in my fanny? <laughs> go heat up my fanny. I like that. <laughs> go put some oil in my fanny. <laughs> they're, they're getting worse. What more is that? What more is that? Um, Can you go and open the boot of my fanny? <laughs> <laughs> Have you looked under the hood of my fanny? <laughs> Can you, is my fanny working? <laughs> Can you hear that music coming from my fanny? It's not my fanny. It should. <laughs> God, my fanny's fast today. Oh, I'm so charged. We're pathetic. What? What, what other ones? What other ones I, I, yeah. We could do this all day. There's something wrong with us. Do you want to drive in the back of my fanny? <laughs> Stop being a backseat driver in my fanny. <laughs> Do you want to drive my fanny today? <laughs> Keep going. This is what happens when I've had a coffee. I'm so tired. I can just fall asleep listening to you. Have you got all the mess out of my fanny? <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> so good 
That's cool, how funny. That's cool, how funny. <laughs> <laughs> Can you keep going? I need more. Just two more. You've got two more. Can you like, leave the handbrake on my fanny? <laughs> no, that's not good. Okay. You've lost it. Have you charged my fanny? It's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh, god Someone bumped my fanny today <laughs> <laughs> Oh okay start. we like that one a lot That was very good <laughs> Oh my god Okay we've got one from Don't touch my fanny <laughs> <laughs> Yeah you like that one <laughs> Why someone scratched my fanny <laughs> I know It's got to stop Oh god uh, uh, Got a ticket for my fanny um, okay, here we go. Dylan says, for Sophie's car, the that home- person sat on my fanny. <laughs> no, I, <can't. laughs> I need to start now. Do you think my fanny can fit in there? <laughs> <laughs> Enough, it's too weird. Uh, <laughs> <no. laughs> Still thinking. Yeah, I can't. My uh, brain is really. Big. You never guess who drove my fanny the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, will you drive my fanny? <laughs> no, no, it's too much. It's too much now. <laughs> We've actually physically lost a plot. Okay. No, don't continue. Mm. Okay, okay, no. okay. For Sophie's car, this one. Why, one's... Is <laughs> Why is Granny driving my fanny? <laughs> you got to stop. It's too weird. Yeah, no, okay, people have really right. gone inside of like. Mm. Ah, so we're not going to call her fanny. No, it's a bit rude. You, why not you call it fanny? No one knows. What if I say, Jamie, quickly go out and pop my fanny? Yeah, I love it. It's hilarious. Do you want to call it Fanny or Pappy? Pappy. Not Fanny. No, I've said no. Fanny is so much better. Fine, we'll call the dog Fiat. <laughs> the dog? <laughs> we'll call the Fiat Pappy. What no, the no, hell? No. I'm losing the plot. We need to just call it Do you it want fanny. to call it Fanny or not? We can call it Fanny. Okay, is that decision made that we're going to call the Fiat? It feels rude, but okay. Fanny, it's fine. Fanny is a name. Fanny. Fanny. Um, John's your uncle Rob's your uncle And Fanny's your arm Okay so Fanny the arm Once Fiat. and for all Sold We're calling the Fiat Fanny Can't wait Okay The name of the new Fiat Is Fanny Fanny the Fiat F-A-N-N-I Fanny Fanny To my Wonderful wife Happy birthday Thank you husband Happy birthday to, to you. you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday dear Sophie Happy birthday to you Now I love you more than anything in this entire world I really do And I have a gift for you That has taken weeks of planning And would uh, you like it? Yes Okay You sure? Yes this is my gift to you. Now, producer Jack and I were organizing this behind the scenes to get this sorted. Um, okay, this is your this was your present. Um, now it all started when it was a bit hectic. We we're in the studio. So if people were trying to hurry you up to do mascara and stuff. I had no makeup on. I was just about to apply my makeup and everyone was like, right, you ready? I was like, oh, okay, no makeup Sophie today. And um we then got you to sit down in the place, and then suddenly there was a knock at the door. That's Honey, are you ready to rumble or not? Well, I don't have any makeup on, so I thought I'd just put a little bit of mascara on, but I can actually do it whilst we're talking. Honey, we can't do it. <sighs> yeah, we can. What's up? Uh, Why are you all being a bit weird today, everyone? Am I being weird? Everyone's freaking me out. What's <laughs> going on? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Jack looks weird. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, my God. This I feel is... like something scary is happening. Hey, sorry to interrupt. I've got a, oh. a package for Sophie Habu. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Sophie Habu. Sorry. Great, can I uh, just need a second sheriff, that's all right. Do you mind if I put it down? Thank you very much. No worries. If you, can I get a signature off someone? Yeah, so, yeah. so are you Sophie? Yeah. Could I do you mind signing for this? Uh, Here you go. What have you got? Oh, thank what you. What is it? <laughs> what have you got? What's happening? I'm scared. Hi, sorry. Hi, uh, I've got some flowers thank you. for Thanks, man. Uh, Sophie, yeah. Sure I can sign for that. Uh, do you have a pen? Oh yeah, I've got a pen here. Oh, yeah. cheers, thanks. There you go. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just have oh a, um, a homemade cake for Sophie. Um, can, can someone sign for her, please? Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 I'm sorry. We're just guys. delivering. Whoa. This is, I mean, this is a birth. This, I'm pretty sure this is a birthday cake, guys. Is this, is this a birthday cake? Is, this, is it your birthday? <gasps> It's your birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. Oh, it's your birthday. Wait, no, hold oh, sorry. On. If it's your birthday, then I think we have to do something. I think maybe oh. we can put something sorry, together. Wait, hold on. What if we just did something like this? Okay. okay. One, okay. two, three, one. 
to Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you She's a little bit dopey, ready or not. Here she comes, yeah, you can't hide. And once said, wait, what's the capital of Africa? <laughs> Watch out, it's Sophie. But all of Jamie loves all of Sophie. He loves her curves and all her edges, all her salty food obsessions. If you want to be with Sophie, you've got to impress the team. Jack, Jamie, Emily, Maya, Jemima and Jake. Ooh. Best podcast we've ever seen. And if you want to be with Sophie, just know you'll have to wait <laughs> at least 10 minutes for her because this newlywed is always late. <laughs> Don't you want me, Sophie? Don't you want me? Oh, still not paid that VAT bill, Sophie. Pay it soon or you'll go to jail. Her name is Sophie and she crashed her daddy's car. <laughs> Don't do a road trip with her, you won't get very far. But she kissed Jamie, and she liked it. The taste of his manly chapstick. She kissed Jamie just to try it. Hope her hot dad, Patrick, don't mind it. Oh, Sophie, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hey, Sophie, hey, 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 Sophie, hey, girl. Oh, Sophie, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hit me, Sophie, one more time. Oh, since you've been around. We all want you in our gang. Even though when you change your name, get ready for... Look, it's Sophie Lane. That's wrong. Uh, Once you come, come on over. over, we'll never get it wrong again. Why don't you come on over, Sophie Charlotte Lane? Oh, oh, wow! Oh, 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 Thank I know you, we've been you. singing all about Sophie, which is quite right because it is her birthday, but I heard there was somebody else on this podcast recently that I think deserves their own song. I hope what? this is appropriate. Don't even worry about it. Judy's mom has oh. got it going <laughs> on. She's all I want. I've waited for so long. Jamie, can't you see? For me, it's all about Penny. I know it might be wrong, but I'm in love with Jamie's mom. That's a, that was a bit weird. <laughs> should we, yeah, maybe, should we take it back to Sophie? Yeah, we'll just yeah. do one more yeah. about Sophie, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, her eyes, her eyes make the stars look like they're not shining. Her joints, her joints, super flexible without even trying. Oh, she's so beautiful. You should remind her every day. <laughs> Oh, you know, you know, you know, we'd never ask you to change. You light up every room, so you should just stay the same. So never bother asking if you're doing okay, cause we'll all say. When I see your face, there's not a thing that I would change. Sophie, you're amazing. Just the way you are And when you smile The whole world stops and stares for a while Sophie, you're amazing Just the way you are Just the way you are Yeah. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah.
Enjoy the birthday guys. Just putting out that was a bit weird, whatever just happened, but that's yeah, Alright, let's get on with the podcast. Come on, no, go. wait, you're all freaking me out. <laughs> that was incredible. How insane was that, honey? Couldn't speak yeah. for a good five minutes after it happened because <laughs> I still was like, my brain was catching up to it. You and Jack were being sketchy as hell. Why? No one let me put on a scrap of makeup or even like a bit of lip balm. <laughs> like, I wasn't even able to drink a drink. It was like, sit down, we're going. You were like prancing about. Jack was trying to act really moody with me to like double <clears throat> bluff me. Like, no smiles were coming in kids' way. And then you came and sat next to me and then someone came to the door. I didn't know that... Just, no words. I got emotional. You didn't get it. I got emotional. Yeah, but there was like, I got emotional, but I also was like very aware that there were four people looking at me and I thought, I'm a bit embarrassed to cry. I wasn't I, I wasn't crying. You were crying. I was not crying. That's pent up emotion, by the way. Okay, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it is? Jamie doesn't cry and it's not good. Sorry, I'm scratching my eyeballs. So we're going to end it on the, the fact that I, this, all of this, just what it reveals, I not that I love eye. you, not that you're, you're great, but the fact that I have pent up emotion. Something is very sore in my eye. So you hang on a second. You just now just gonna look at something in your eye. Sorry, Brown. I don't know. I think I have a hair or a bit of that mascara leaked into it. That was epic. You enjoyed it, girl. You're amazing. Sing it, go on, girl. No, girl, you're amazing. Penny's mama's got a <laughs> my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. You're thinking about my grandmother who died. No, that's too morbid. <laughs> well, she is. She's not alive. Jamie's mom has got it going on. She's all you want. And wait. <laughs> you, sh you should not think that she's all you want and you're waiting so long. <laughs> Penny, can't you see? You're just not the girl for me. Because all I want is Penny's mom. <laughs> you mom. want your grandma? <laughs> you dirty, dirty bee. <laughs> But I do want to give a shout out to Alex Evans. Alex, who um, helped organize the entire thing. She also did the flash mob with us. And also everyone involved. I give a shout out to Club Mob, the Taylors and Surprise Dancers UK. We're going to leave all the sort of details in the description below in the podcast. So if you guys want to go and do something like that for your loved ones, whatever it is, go and check it out hype up the small businesses because that was pure talent sister and it was amazing. That was pure bloody talent. And, they all, and Alex organized it so last minute. Like, I know, they so call me dopey. <laughs> and that's not a surprise to anyone. I'm kidding, honey. Did you like it? You kitty cat cat. But yes. you've got to pay, pay that VAT bill because otherwise you're going to jail. I've paid it. Okay, but not the tax bill. Guys, they were, that was the coolest thing ever. I wanted, like, I'm so glad we recorded it because I couldn't take it all in at the mo in the moment. Okay, everybody, uh, that is the end of the episode. If you want to get in touch with us, you can send us a message motherfuckers. I don't know why I just swore that. <laughs> <Send> <laughs> no, it's us. Friday again. It's every Friday we get every a bit Friday. kooky. Send us a message, please. Anything cool, fun, sexy, whatever it is, we want to hear from you. So send it You're to... You're really wedding me up. Send it to newlyweds. There's at, a sneeze coming. At, no, there isn't. Not at all. Not even on the verge of a sneeze. No, I need to sneeze. Uh, okay. At newlyweds. Send it to our Instagram. Or you can send Instagram. us... Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> or you can send us an email... Newlyweds at jampopproductions.co.uk. Also, everybody, we're on YouTube. Damn straight. And please, can you and say... <laughs> you are. Kiki. Can you say to everyone, they should just take a moment out to subscribe? Please, could you take a moment out to subscribe to YouTube? It's really fun. And we used to do a thing where we were proposing the pod, and I think we should honestly bring that back. So we used to do this amazing thing where you would go out and propose the pod, and then we would talk about how you proposed the pod. So you know what? I don't care, Jack. Without your permission, I'm bringing it straight back. Okay, please go and propose the pod. That is when you go and tell one of your friends, whatever it is, and you write in how you propose the podcast. Tell your milkman, your postman, your brother, your sister in a fun, cool, wicked way. And then we're going to talk about it on the episode. Every episode, propose the pod is back. I just made that decision. Propose the pod. Sorry, I can't talk because there's a sneeze that's brewing. Oh, God. Okay, if you want to get married... Go do it! <laughs> you have to obviously be going out with someone. First, if you're getting divorced, just keep on plotting. Again, <laughs> if you're single, life's your oyster. And if you are, uh, <laughs> life's your oyster. Life's your oyster. <laughs> the world is your oyster. <laughs> and if you are getting engaged, oh, just good luck. And if it's your wedding day coming up, just rock on through. Okay, sister. 
I love you, honey. Happy birthday. Love you, brother. Listeners, we love you too. Have the greatest day, whatever you're doing. We'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>